Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. For those who don't know us, my name is Sai and this is my husband Eric. Hi, uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different this time. Sai has a surgery coming tomorrow. It is called a uh, laparoscopy and we're doing it for fertility reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been trying to conceive and have children for over a year now and the medical definition of infertility is when you've been trying to conceive for over a year unsuccessfully. And so uh, after the year mark, we went to the doctor and started doing tests to try to figure out why we hadn't conceived yet. And here we are now at the stage where we're getting a laparoscopy. So to give you some background, we've done, both that she and I have done uh, blood and urine tests. I did a sperm analysis. Sai had to do two HSGs, which was not fun at all. It was very painful. Uh, yeah, an HSG is, if you don't know, it's where they shoot contrast dye through your fallopian tubes, and it can cause a lot of pain and cramping. Mm -hmm. And she had to do two of those because the first was somewhat inconclusive. Yeah. Um, they were not able to get the dye through either of her fallopian mm -hmm. tubes, and we did it again and had the same result. So the laparoscopy, one of the things they're gonna check during the laparoscopy is uh, if they can open up the fallopian tubes and they're also going to check for endometriosis, see if there's any adhesions between the tissue and the organs inside her pelvis. Uh, if we find that her fallopian tubes are not open or something like that, that will be a very definitive answer as to whether we need to do IVF IVF, unfortunately, is super expensive. It's very expensive. It can cost upwards of fifteen to twenty thousand dollars or more. Mm -hmm. uh, we've considered that we might have to uh, go the route of IVF. We've already started saving for yeah. it. Huge expense, um, and this will give us the answer of whether we need to move forward with that decision, uh, or we might find out that um, they found endometriosis. And sometimes during these laparoscopies, they will remove uh, endometriosis tissue, mm -hmm. and that can improve the chances of conceiving, in which case we might try to conceive naturally for at least a couple more months and see what happens before we decide to do IVF. Uh, so we're hopeful, we're optimistic, and we'll see what happens. Uh, for this video, the next thing we're going to do is talk about some of the pre-surgery steps before the laparoscopy. This video is focused on the laparoscopy. We're going to show you an unboxing yep. of some of the stuff the hospital gave us. Mm -hmm. We've got this bag over here and then we'll show you some footage that we're going to capture around the time of the surgery. Obviously they're not going to let us film the surgery itself, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll try to see what we can get and then we'll talk about the recovery a little after it's done. So stay tuned for the next step. We're going to show you the unboxing. Let's go. Okay, so here we go. Let's check what's inside of this box. Okay. Let's start with this. Okay, we have a pamphlet talking about uh, the calendar, what you need to do in days before the surgery, the morning of the surgery, and during recovery. Okay. Next up. Next. Well, okay. these, this is the steps. Uh, we have to follow these steps um, before the surgery. So you can eat food up until eight hours before your scheduled arrival time. Your arrival time is 1030, which means your surgery is two hours later at 1230. Yeah. Um, so you have to stop eating eight hours before 1030 and then at two hours before your scheduled arrival time 830 you need to drink a carbohydrate drink why don't you show okay, that okay where is that oh I think this is the one okay it's, I'm going to show you guys this is this is it it's called CF pre-op okay and the a carbohydrate drink just ensures that she stays hydrated, gives her the nutrients she needs to have a successful mm -hmm. surgery. Uh, and 
she has to finish that within 15 minutes of the time she starts drinking it. They tell you start drinking at 8.30, and if you don't even finish it within 15 minutes, you have to just toss it out because they don't want too many liquids in your mm -hmm. system, I guess. And it talks about quitting tobacco, mouth and skin care. You don't have to worry about quitting tobacco, do you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Brush and floss your teeth and follow skin cleaning directions on the back. Okay. So what do they mean by skin cleaning? Um, Show the uh, wipes. Yeah. This is the one and the thing that I need to um, use to clean my skin. It's like disinfectant, something like mm -hmm. that. They're like wet wipes. Yeah. and. They're very specific about how you're supposed to use them. And mm -hmm. I guess it just ensures that your entire body is sanitary for the surgical environment. Uh, on this paper, they give you a very specific order in the, which body parts to use them on and in which order. So you're supposed to do uh, the neck, chest and arms and armpits first, then your abdomen, hips and groin, then your legs, front and back and behind the knees and then number four you wipe the back and then the, wipe the outer buttocks yeah which is the number four you're going to help me with that yeah i'll have to help you and so you're supposed to do the wiping the night before and then you go to bed in clean sheets we've already prepared that mm -hmm. and, and then you're not supposed to use any lotions or anything like that on your skin no no yeah. lotion no moisturizer no cosmetics Cosmetic. And I guess the wipes are supposed to leave your skin feeling a little sticky. It doesn't sound too pleasant, but we'll see what it's like. Yep. And uh, then wear clean underwear and clothing to the surgery. And that's that. Let's let's see what's in this bag right here. Yeah, it's fine. That's it yeah, that. that's it for okay. this one. Okay, let's check that. Okay. Okay. Sorry. So this is the bag of uh, medicine. First, we have uh anti-nausea medicine that is only necessary if we use oxycodone for your mm -hmm. uh, pain medication is it oxycodone maybe this is, is it okay. uh, no no it's not okay so nope. <laughs> <Nope. laughs> okay, here we have oxycodone oxycodone we're hoping that won't be necessary because um it is a very uh, heavy duty pain relief uh, and that will only be necessary if they do more than we expect during the surgery such as remove tissue because of endometriosis. Yeah. We're hoping uh, it'll be more straightforward. Maybe they just check whether the fallopian tubes are open and see everything else is perfect in there and she'll have a more straightforward recovery. Um, so the she has oxycodone with an anti-nausea medicine because oxycodone can apparently cause nausea. And then she also has um, Cina 8.6 milligrams, which is supposed to help with constipation, constipation. caused by the oxycodone. Uh, if we don't need the oxycodone, then we'll just use acetaminophen and ibuprofen. Uh, those are not as heavy duty as the oxycodone and my understanding is that you can take both of those at the same time or alternate them mm -hmm. to have around the clock relief yep. and then and you have more mm -hmm. Advil um, the ibuprofen we have a 600 milligram and then we have 200 milligrams here and and then the stool softener. <laughs> <laughs> this will be my best friend yep. after the surgery because I think I really need this. We'll see. <laughs> so right here I have the mini fridge. This is where I have all the snacks prepared for after the surgery. And I'm going to show you what I have inside. And I have some sparkling water. I have some Soylent. It's a meal replacement drink. And it's a mint chocolate. And I got some kombucha. And some yogurt. Yakult. Gatorade. And some nuts. It's almond nuts. And I have some strawberries in here. 
the other one is also strawberries too. And blueberries. Blueberries. And some laughing cow cheese in there. And that's it. And I have more snacks over there I'm going to show you. And this is my bed. Our bed. This is where I'm going to spend most of the time after my surgery. And get more snacks in here more snacks and I prepared uh, the clothes that I'm going to wear for tomorrow it's ready and I got some I'm also going to bring some lip balm and this white flower it's it's from the Philippines it's really good for nauseous and it it really works for me so I'm going to bring that It's 10.17 in the morning. We just arrived in the parking lot of the hospital. Mm -hmm. We woke up around 8 this morning. How are you feeling? I'm feeling nice. What specifically are you feeling nervous about? With, with everything, this will be my first surgery and I don't know what to expect after this. And it's the first time you're going to be under general anesthesia yeah. too. Like you've never so, experienced being uh, put to sleep during, yeah. the, during the surgery. Yeah, I've never done that either. But everything's going to go perfectly. And it'll be over before you know it. Oof. How did you like using the wipes last night? Last night, uh, the wipes, it was very sticky. Yeah. It was very sticky and a little stingy. Stingy? Stingy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were a little gross to go to sleep with. Uh -huh. but, and... um, but you kept it on, you didn't have to wash it off or anything. So you yeah. followed all the steps, uh, and, the pre-surgery steps yeah, successfully? In, yeah, including, um, I didn't put any moisturizer, any lotion, and right now I don't put anything on my, on my mm -hmm. face. It's yeah. my bare face right now. <laughs> Disclaimer. <laughs> and uh, how did you like the carbohydrate drink? Uh, the carbohydrate drinks, it, it was fine. Uh, it's a little salty and at the same time it's a little sweet, but it's okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, well we're gonna go inside the hospital now, so we'll see you in a bit. Okay, we're here in the hospital. How do you feel? I feel nervous, um, but I'm also feel it's weird, but I'm also feel excited at the same time. Like yeah. I just want to get over with it. So what do you have in your arm there? Looks like an, uh, I don't an IV. We... And you're hooked up to that back there. So they're hydrating you. They removed my ring. Yeah, I have your ring in my pocket. Uh, you look beautiful even in a hairnet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and I just can't wait for it to be. Okay, very good. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so the uh, the doctor's gonna come talk to us in a little bit, answer any questions we yeah. have, and, right. and then you'll be rolled on back to the surgery room. Yeah, and I'm so I'm so grateful. I have a very nice nurse. Oh yeah, she and was she, nice. She was so nice. Mm -hmm. I really like her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, any... okay, we'll yeah. see you. Okay. Okay. All right, we'll take good care of her. Okay, right, thank you. Take care. Nice to meet you. Okay, it is 2.07 right now. Sai is currently in the surgery room. She's having the surgery as we speak. And she went in about 1.20. After she went in, I left and went and got some lunch. And now I'm back in the parking lot of the hospital and I'm going to go back in and wait in the waiting room and wait for an update. Uh, Sai went in with good spirits. She's optimistic. Uh, she did get a little emotional right before she was wheeled into the surgery room though it's kind of hard as a husband to go through that. You have to trust that you're making the right decision in the end and that this surgery will be worth it for our future for our chances of conceiving, um, but it, it's, a, it's a pretty big deal to be put under general anesthesia and to have the laparoscopy, we don't take it lightly, so we hope that it's worth it, 
and that we learn some valuable information and maybe they're able to do something in there that improves our chances of conceiving. So next time I update you, we will, well, hopefully she'll be out of surgery and we'll see what happens. I love you so much. <laughs> We just picked up Sai from the hospital. Here she is, still feeling the anesthesia. She's been so groggy. She's got a little barf bag there just in case. Are you still feeling dizzy? Yeah, I'm feeling really dizzy. <laughs> How do you feel otherwise? Do you feel any pain? It's very uncomfortable on my lower abdomen. But you wouldn't say painful? Just uncomfortable? Yeah, not painful. It's yeah. very uncomfortable. You were very sensitive to the anesthesia. It took you a while to fully wake up. So it's uh, 5.36 now. You went into surgery at 1.20. So it's been a good number of hours. Mm. Okay, we're ready to go home. Get lots of rest. Good morning. Um, it's it's ten fifty three now in the morning here. <clears throat> I'm. I was thinking I should vlog because I feel a little better today. So I uh, yesterday yesterday was my surgery. And we didn't had a chance to film when we got back home because I was so groggy and I was so sleepy. I just slept the whole time until the evening. And um, today I woke up around 7 in the morning. Is um, My husband, he had... He have to go to work. <coughs> I'm sorry. I feel like I'm having a hard time to talk right now, but I feel better. Maybe because of my incision. Um, also, my throat, I feel like it hurts. I feel like I'm, I feel like I have a, a sore throat, but the nurse told me yesterday that it it's just normal because I think they put some tube they, they put some tube in my mouth inside my mouth and I think that's why and I maybe I'll show you what does it look like my incision I'll, um So I got three incisions and I I keep like monitoring my well my husband he he he's he is so he is so sweet he makes sure that when he <laughs> I'm going to show you guys when he left for work he <laughs> He made sure that he's listing the time of what time I should I should take my ibuprofen and my astaminophen and he just texted me earlier that, that um what time he left a note but at the same time he texted me again what time should I take my next meds so he <laughs> you're so sweet even his he even he's working he so keeps up thinking about me <laughs> okay guys so yeah i just feel like i want to film because i didn't film yesterday when we get back hopefully my recovery will be fast okay i'll see you later